Welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're ranking the 10 greatest light middleweight boxers of all time. Number 10. Laurent Boudouani. French former professional boxer who competed from 1989 to 1999. He held the WBA light middleweight title from 1996 to 1999 and the European light middleweight title from 1992 to 1993. As an amateur, he won a silver medal in the welterweight event at the 1988 Summer Olympics. Number 9. Alessandro Mazzini. Italian professional boxer who held the World Light Middleweight Championship twice. In 1961 Mazzini won the Military World Championships. The same year he turned professional, following his elder brother Guido. He eventually became a European and World Champion, and had a record of 64-302, 42 KOs. Of these matches, five were valid for the European title and eight for the world title. Number 8. Felix Trinidad. Popularly known as Tito Trinidad, is a Puerto Rican former professional boxer who competed from 1990 to 2008. He held multiple world championships in three weight classes and is considered to be one of the greatest Puerto Rican boxers of all time. Number 7. Nino Benvenuti. Italian former professional boxer and actor. He held world titles in two weight classes, having held the undisputed Super Welterweight Championship from June 1965 to June 1966 and the undisputed Middleweight Championship twice from April to September 1967, and from March 1968 to November 1970 and an Olympic gold medal in 1960, receiving the Val Barker Trophy for boxing style. In 1961, having an amateur record of 120-0. Number 6. Ayub Kalyul. Retired boxer from Uganda, who first came to prominence when he won the amateur world welterweight title at the inaugural 1974 World Championships in Havana, Cuba. As a professional, 
He held the WBA and the Ring Light Middleweight titles from 1979 until 1981. Number 5. Oscar De La Hoya. American boxing promoter and former professional boxer who competed from 1992 to 2008. His accolades include winning 11 world titles in 6 weight classes, including the lineal championship in 3 weight classes. He is ranked as the 38th best boxer of all time, pound for pound, by BoxRec. De La Hoya was nicknamed the Golden Boy of Boxing by the media when he represented the United States at the 1992 Summer Olympics. De La Hoya was named the Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year in 1995, and was its top-rated fighter in the world, pound for pound, in 1997 and 1998. Number 4. Winky Wright. American former strong. professional boxer who competed from 1990 to 2012. He is a two-time light middleweight world champion and was the last to hold the undisputed title at that weight until Jamel Charlo in 2022. In 2005, The Ring magazine ranked him as the world's second best active boxer, pound for pound. In 2017, it was announced that Wright had been elected as an International Boxing Hall of Fame member in the modern category. The consistent back and forth action continued throughout the fight. Winky put the boxing world on notice, dominating Mosley from bell to bell. Jermaine Taylor has already been hit with more punches in this fight than in any other fight of his career. Now Winky Wright tries to put him in jail in the corner again. Right, hammering Mosley around the ring with rights yeah. and lefts. Vargas fans in the crowd, nervous. There have been moments in these past two rounds when Winky Wright is toying with the great Shane Mosley. Wright made a name for himself. Mosley's face is beginning to show the damage that Wright has applied. Number 3. Mike McCallum. Jamaican former professional boxer who competed from 1981 to 1997. He held world championships in three weight classes, including the WBA Super Welterweight title from 1984 to 1988, the WBA Middleweight title from 1989 to 1991, and the WBC Light Heavyweight title from 1994 to 1995. Number 2. Terry Norris. American former boxer and a three-time world champion in the light middleweight super welterweight division. Norris turned professional in August 1986. He outpointed future middleweight title holder Quincy Taylor in August 1988. Norris beat future super middleweight champion Steve Little to win the vacant NAB flight middleweight title in December 1988, and defended it against former IBF title holder Buster Drayton.
Number 1. Thomas Hearn. American former professional boxer who competed from 1977 to 2006. Nicknamed the Motor City Cobra, and more famously the Hitman, Hearn's is tall, slender build and oversized arms and shoulders allowed him to move up over 50 pounds in his career and become the first boxer in history to win world titles in five weight divisions. Hearns was named Fighter of the Year by The Ring magazine and the Boxing Writers Association of America in 1980 and 1984. Thank you for watching please like, comment and subscribe.